Okay, this is the last database that we're going to cover today. That's U.S. Major Dailies. U.S. Major Dailies covers five different newspapers, which it provides access through its database. That's the Chicago Tribune, the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. All high quality, credible news sources, ones that you usually have to pay for in order to access, particularly the Wall Street Journal, which is almost entirely behind a paywall. This gives you complete access to those newspapers, which you can then use to find really current event related resource for your resources for your research. Again, like with the Academic Search Premier, we're going to select Advanced Search. And once there, we'll go ahead and follow the same strategy that we employed with Academic Search Premier. We'll use the first search box for Concept 1 and the second search box for Concept 2. We can add search boxes if we need more concepts. Additionally, we did not touch on this in Academic Search Premier, but you might sometimes want to focus in your research or your concepts on different uh, filled codes, and you'll see these are all filled codes here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about them in this context, so you don't necessarily have to either. Let's go ahead and think through what it is that we want to find that deals specifically with our research subject, which is the film Disclosure, and it's way of describing transgender representation in film and media. And let's say that I want to actually find reviews of this film. Um, this is a great place to go. Critics often post their reviews in newspapers, right? So we, we could actually just search for the name of the film. And again, we want to use quotation marks. We want the database to know that's definitely what we're looking for. And we're going to give the database something to connect this with because disclosure is a very broad term, right? What is it that we could use to help the database know that this is what we're looking for? And in this case, maybe I'll put the distributor. I, I know that this film is on Netflix and, and so hopefully that will help the database know too that I'm looking for a film and not for another usage of the term disclosure. And we got 623 results. This is quite a few. We want to limit it because we know that we're probably getting a lot of different types of, of papers that deal with disclosure in the general sense and not in the specific sense. One thing I know is that this film came out in 2020. So I could actually use the publication date filter and I could very dramatically decrease my search results. And you'll see actually the second option is a review of the film Disclosure. And the third option as well, both from the New York Times, the fourth option, another review from the Los Angeles Times. So we have a host of different papers here, all giving us different critical takes on the same film. And, and so we're going to go ahead and we'll click the first one, the review from the New York Times. This is a little short. Um, but it gives us, you know, some basic information. Let's go back and look at the second one, a transgender lens on film and TV history. And again, pretty, you know, pretty easy to process. One thing that's really important about this database, it gives you related items on the side. These are very helpful when you're trying to find information that goes beyond your original search terms. and. We'll see here, we have a number of different options that all look like they might be valuable for us writing our review. So broadening a transgender tale that has only just begun, an Oscar nominated transgender director on his authentic self, review of the film Kiki, transgender lives on screen seen but not always believable, a ton of different options. And we could actually further limit that by showing more related items here and the database would give us a whole host of different options to select from. Again, if we find a paper, we can continue to save it as a PDF. We can cite it again, just like with Academic Search Premier using MLA format. We'll just copy and then paste our, 
our citation. And then it also, again, gives us the option to email our search results to ourselves. Again, a really important tool for helping you get the most out of your research time. And so that's everything I have for you. You've now walked your way through two different databases, Academic Search Premier and US Major Dailies, both of which are robust and provide you with a number of research options. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, if something doesn't make sense to you, please reach out and email me. My email address is on the screen right in front of you. I am happy to help you facilitate, break down, really better understand your research as needed. Thanks so much.